What's going on, boys and girls? What's up, world? Austin John plays here, and welcome back to Link's Awakening, part number 15. We're, we're almost done with the game, boys and girls. We have a little bit of backtracking to do at this time. Now, if you've been neglecting Dompei for a while, now is a good time to come by once again, because there's a few challenges that you can do up until this point. Once you clear all this up, you get a reward for fill up your hearts. Once you clear all three of these, which should be available to you now, you open up Passageway Central. Opening up Passageway Central gets you a piece of heart. As far as the three shovel challenges, the second one, the heart storage, completing this one gets you a bottle. And that makes our third bottle of the game, and there are only three pieces of heart left. So here on the prairie, there is one secret seashell that I've actually passed over that we had access to as soon as we got the flippers. There's no real reason I past it, I just kind of skipped it, slash forgot it, whatever. We dive into the water here, and this piece of plant, we weren't able to uh, get it before, but now we can. Here in Mape Village, let's go inside of the store. Yep, nothing new, still just chamber stones that are super expensive. We're now at a point that we're not gonna be using our rupees for anything, so we might, we might as well start buying these. <laughs> That's the first one that we've had to purchase. We've earned two others, so you should now be at the point that you have three chamber stones. Here at the trending game, we can get ourselves a shy guy. The shy guy goes into the four little boys' house, right here on the floor. And now they only need one more in here. Just double check the trending game. There should be no additional key items for you. Let's go check on the fisherman. And hopefully we have the opportunity to find the big fish. Yes, there he is, right at the bottom. See that big boy down there? That's what we're gonna be going after. You do need the heavyweight lure for him. And as I've mentioned a few times, I don't know the exact require, no, no, get away from that. Thank you. I don't know the exact requirements for him to show up, although I've checked back regularly and this is the first time that he's appeared here. This guy is not easy to reel in, just for the record, just so you know. But go before you go into this. Yeah. Nibble. 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 Bite. I've actually had this guy appear off or swim off screen while trying to reel him in. The closer you get to the end, the more often I've noticed that he likes to turn around and start swimming away. One more time. We got this. Come on, Link. He's almost out of the water. Yep, this is it. This is it. Come on. Come on. Yeah! Look at that bad boy. Wow, lots of people say they caught Old Baron, but you actually did it. 58 inches. Way to reel him in. You deserve at least 100 rupees for that. And there's something caught in his mouth. Oh, it's a chamber stone. I think we have to catch a cheap cheap. I don't think we have yet. Hmm. 19 inches, quite a catch. Is there something caught in his mouth? It's a secret seashell. Fantastic. And with that, we are forever done with the fishing minigame. And while we're in Mabe Village, we can actually take the first step toward completing or entering the uh, the bird dungeon over here. We need the bird key, which is located right there. The statue, push it. Because now we're super strong, remember? And oh no, there's a dead burb. That magic isn't strong enough. Instead, we're actually gonna be using the song that, the, uh, that Mamu taught us, the Frog's Song of Soul. This is one of the few times it's necessary. Remember that if you do not have the Frong Saga Soul, you need to make your way from the prairie and you're going to head down to this pothole area and you're going to follow those signs around until you get the thing that you need. Whoa, what's that? What's that? It's freaking me out, man. Boom! The bird's alive! Wow, the rooster is recovered. He seems very friendly. Now, this bird has a unique trait as your partner, is that when you carry him, you fly. Not just glide, like a regular Kuko, but instead, you completely fly. 
which is super awesome. If you did not get the secret seashell that was behind these trees with the hookshot, now is the time that you can get him with the blue bird. You know where you know where we need to make our way to? Here. Here. This this entranceway that we've had to go to many times already. Now that we have the hookshot, we can hookshot to that chest. And collect the purple ruby. Push that one off, and then we can hop back. We're gonna keep going past where we entered the uh the big head down there. Remember remember the chicken house? That's that's where we're going. If if you know where the chicken house is, then you know you know where we're going. From the chicken house, we're gonna enter this hole down here. And remember this room that we could not access before? Well now we can fly. And now we get the burb key. I want my burb. Now that we have the bird key, there's a little bit of stuff that I wanna do first. Right here we're gonna hook shot across. And once again. And we uncover this ground piece. Plop down a bomb right there. Ignore the enemies, go to the right. And we get a piece of heart. Backtrack back to this large room over here. We're gonna hop down. Hook shot over. As the chicken just flies, flies across like it's nothing. And now we're just gonna run. Climb up to the top while dodging the rocks to the best of your ability. Take care of this guy and under here, secret seashell. We're gonna lift up this rock and there's a secret staircase. Head downstairs. And this is the third and final Lil Devil who's going to give us an increase to our arrows, which is much needed, to be honest with you. Head back outside, get this very obvious treasure chest with a purple ruby. And unfortunately that area to the left, we're not gonna be able to go to right now, but we can hop down here, take out these guys, place a bomb right there, but don't go in there yet. Instead, we're gonna run to the left for this piece of heart. And that is the last piece of heart that we can get before entering the final dungeon. Now, unfortunately, because we hop down here, we, there's, there's no good way back. Entering here is going to be the way to the final dungeon that requires us to get the mirror shield so we can deflect this fire. As you see, we can't deflect it properly. So now we're gonna backtrack and guess where we're going. You should know by now. Back here. Instead of heading up the ladder this time, we're going to go slightly more to the right into this cave. Now, before we went through this bombable wall to go get a secret seashell, but now we're going to continue to the right. There was actually no point in us going here before. Did not mean to pick him up. You see that hole right there? It's important to not jump down that because that's going to bring you to the cave down here, which was that pond with that heart piece in there. It, I think it's just neat how it kind of all connects. Run all the way to the end, taking care of only the keys. Exit, enter. Head downstairs. Hop over. Now we're going to grab our chicken and we're going to fly straight down. You could totally hook shot around. I just think the chicken is a lot a lot more fun. And right here, pull out your shovel. And this is our next to last warp point. This is Eastern Tall Tall Mountains. I mean, technically it's our second to last. Although you're never going to use one of them. Now grab out your bomb. Place one right there. And this is our final great fairy fountain. Which is perfect, because I needed a fairy. Next, we're gonna head through the top rightmost option. There's a few enemies in this cave, nothing really to worry about. I mean, you're at the point in the game that nothing should really worry you. If you've been following this guide, you have so many hearts, all of the power-ups. Right here, 
is the Burb statue. And fantastic! This is gonna be wrapping up this episode, number 14. Oh, I did not mean to hit that button. I lied, it was number 15! And to this point, we have almost everything in the game, which is 31 heart pieces. We're only missing one, which is located in the last dungeon. Two secret seashells. One is located in the dungeon we're about to go in, and one is located immediately after it. So there's nothing that we can do. As far as our inventory, we've completed the trading sequence. We have the magnifying lens. We currently have the blue mail. We have the upgraded sword. We've taken care of all the statues necessary. We have all three bottles. We've uncovered all three power-ups from the little devil. And you should be sitting pretty right now. However, this Burbs Tower right here is not an easy dungeon. Not an easy dungeon at all. It's kind of like a puzzle within puzzles, and then there's a lot of floor switches. So this this is the most confusing of all the dungeons. So I recommend definitely checking out the next episode, which is gonna be right there on the right, if it's live right now, as well as the playlist. And uh, if you haven't done so, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And we have only a few episodes left of our walkthrough. Great, until next time, Austin John out.